Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to be with you today. I was deeply impressed by previous speakers and their views on the rights of Ashraf residents. It's not my expertise to talk about international law, so I leave that to the eminent and able jurists here. I rather address the political aspect of the issue. I would like to thank you and say that your efforts in the past few years, including very recent legal opinions, played a key role in the recognition of the rights of the residents of Ashraf. At the time that many would prefer to forget about Ashraf, uh, you rose up in defense of Ashraf and stood against the injustice. You have rightly argued that they continue to enjoy status of protected person under the Fourth Geneva Convention and no one can take that status away. Let me also add that what you have done has not been just in defense of Ashraf, but also in defense of democratic values and achievements of international community in the field of international law and the need to implement them. I urge you to continue with your campaign and remind the policymakers of their obligations. When it comes uh, to the crimes committed by the Mullah's regime and Iraqi forces in Ashraf, I am speechless. I attended a meeting yesterday on the adoption of the uh, 25th November European Parliament written declaration. The MEP unanimously said uh, this is a campaign which would continue until the siege on Ashraf is lifted. 